guys, I'm Como Long. I'm a product manager here at Move. And today I want to spend a few minutes walking you through our Move dashboard. Um, our Move dashboard is a great way for you and your team members to see what's happening on your platform. Um, there's a lot of functionality built into this dashboard, so you can do things like create accounts, transfers, um, but you can really also, you know, use it in more of a customer support role as well to check in on a couple things, answer any questions about any issues that might arise. So I want to spend a few minutes walking through some key features. I have a demo account pulled up here. Uh, right when I log on, I'll see getting started. Uh, this is where you can create your API keys, uh, set up your platform business detail, create a bank account, things like that. So really the basics to get your, your account up and running. Below that, we have the Move Wallet, where, I'll, we'll, where we will al always surface um, your wallet balance, and you can do cash out, add funds, so some basic functionality here. And down below, once you get some transaction volume, um, these metrics will be populated. So you'll see um, you know, total transfers, volume, and then um, any new accounts that have onboarded onto your platform. And uh, we have different statuses here. So if there's any issues, um, you can sort of tap into there and, and get more detail. So jumping right in, I wanna take you to accounts. Um, and I'll pull up my own here just to, to show you what this looks like. So um, accounts are all the accounts that are connected to your platform. So here you can just see some very basic details on the left. Um, payment methods on the right, so all of the ways that this account can can receive funds or or pay pay funds out to someone else. Um, so I have three bank accounts that have the screen check check mark, meaning they are in a verified state. Um, and then I have one that has errored out uh, on purpose, so you can remove that. Um, can also add a new one from the screen. Um, you also do your micro deposit verification here. And then of course we have our move wallet uh, with, the, with the balance of this account as well. So all the different ways uh, this person or, or account can transact uh, in, in a transfer. Um, one thing I wanna spend a couple moments on is capabilities. So capabilities within the move platform are very powerful. Um, these really enable you to control the flow of funds for your accounts. So um, you set these up once, you don't really have to worry about them again, and they're pretty dynamic. So depending on what you want your accounts to do on your platform, uh, we'll request the minimum amount of, of information that you need, and then we'll send that off uh, to get verified, and we usually get that back within a couple seconds. So for example, uh, transfers is our most basic capability, and that is we just need, um, I'll say view details here, and we just need a first name, last name, and an email. So that's really just the most basic information we need for an account to participate in a transfer. Um, something like a wallet needs a little bit more information, and we'll surface that here. Um, and so, you know, we'll we'll set these up uh, once once we get all of this information. We'll, we'll request the capability, we'll verify that, and then we'll enable this right away. So if there's any issues during that verification process, we will let you know. Um, but really you set these up once and it, it gives you sort of full customization of, of how you want the accounts to interact um, on your platform. And if at any time you decide you don't want an account to be able to collect funds, funds from another account, uh, you can come in here and unrequest that. So. Uh, being able to augment these and, and have that dynamic onboarding process is really powerful. Um, like I said, uh, you set these up once, you don't have to worry about it. So um, even if there's you know new rails or, or anything like that, these, are, these will still always be um, the minimum amount of information we need to, to get that account uh, you know, participating in a transfer um, in the way that you want. So now that I've shown you capabilities, I wanna move on to transfers. Um, transfers, this is a this is a list of all of your historic transfers. Um, you'll see different statuses, um, the various filters and, and statuses here that you can filter by. Um, and the nice thing about our, our transfer details, um, and my favorite part is this transfer timeline. So um, you know, as we integrate new rails, you don't have to worry about about adding anything um, on your end we'll just, we'll give you those options right away. And that's using our transfer options utility. So 
that is really surfaced in this new transfer, create transfer flow. Um, you can just enter in an amount, give us the source and the destination, and we'll give you all the different options available for you to get that money from point A to point B. So if you want to use ACH, card, wallet, um, and different lens of the transaction, that's all doable um, as long as those capabilities are enabled. And um, and we'll, we'll always let you know, you know what's possible. So just pulling up one, one transfer here, this is a completed transfer. Um, so you'll see sort of a nice receipt view of, of all the details of this transfer. And on the right, um, a really nice timeline here that are visual of the transfer and its journey. So like I said, you know, one transfer can have multiple rails. So it's made up of, of many transactions. Um, and we'll show you each leg of the transaction on the right. So this was a wallet to an ACH transfer. Um, a move is really event based. And so, you know, if you only care about when the overall transfer is completed, we'll let you know that. But if you do want to be updated on, you know, each leg of the transfer, the status and and where it is in its journey, we'll also um, event that out as well. And there's webhooks for that, too. Um, so right here, the status is completed, but, you know, it goes through three or four different statuses till it gets to that point and we'll we'll alert you um, along um, along the way. So this is a completed transfer. I do want to show you a failed transfer so you can see what that looks like. Um, so like I said, we'll we'll alert you if if anything fails and right when that happens. So uh, for example, this one was returned. It has a return code, the description, the reason, and all that good stuff. And so so we'll always surface those details to you if you care about those. Um, but this again is a really nice view to, to take a look at the transfer, um, the details, the timeline, and, and sort of follow, follow its journey. Moving on to developers, um, this is where you'll you know, create your API keys. You can create a new one here, create as many as you like. Um, don't wanna to spend too much time on that. It's, I'm sure you'll be pretty familiar with that. Um, webhooks, like I said, uh, move is all we have event-based architecture so uh, webhooks are extremely powerful as well um, you can set those up here and you know you can subscribe to all of them or just a couple that you care about um, and we'll we'll alert you when when things happen so you don't have to keep asking us uh, we'll let you know when there's an issue with an account or a transfer um, or anything really that that you care about and then you want to know in the settings, uh, this is where you'll manage the information about your own account, so your platform. Um, you can enter in business details, uh, business representatives, um, contact information, all that good stuff. Uh, payment methods, this is where you can again manage your wallet, um, add other bank accounts if you wanna participate in transfers as well. And then members is sort of the cool thing. So um, in the beginning of this demo, I mentioned, uh, you know, you can you can add other team members on here so that could be develop other developers product managers customer support um, operations and the nice thing about this is we have um, predefined roles with with set permissions so we have um, already like a developer a developer um, role or you know view only or just support so uh, a nice way for you to collaborate with your team members and add them onto this platform and to they can help uh, you know, triage any issues or take a look at what's going on. Those are a few key features of what's included on this dashboard. Um, we have really great resources on our website um, and we'll surface those on the overview page at the bottom and also um, in the sidebar as well. So if at any time you have any questions, um, please visit our doc site and our, and our website. We have really good tutorials, guides, um, and documentation. You know, we want to hear from you. So if if this looks interesting and you want to get to know a couple of things a little bit better, please reach out uh, to our team and we'd be happy to talk to you and, and learn about what you're building. So thanks for watching and have a great day.